So now that we're in this page here, we would say we want to get back to that course spaces area. So you'll notice in the menu, I have the actions, which is just on this page that I'm on. If I want to do something in this version of a course, that happens at the version level of the menu. So these are all the operations at that level. Course space, I can go back and view the course space, or I can add a version right from here. And then all the way back to courses. So let's go all the way back to courses, because we're going to step through the whole process. So we're going to do add a course space, or that's accessible up here. So I'll add a course space here, academic unit. I'm going to do department two. Name of my course, this would be something like um, Math 100, or actually in Arts College, or Part 100. Title, and you're going to have something like Introduction to the Arts. And description, so something meaningful this course. Uh, you also can upload some screenshots that will get rendered in the site here. So I can choose file. Uh, we're going to upload one here, just to give an idea of how that would render on the page. So let's see alternate text, sample course screenshot, and we'll just leave that there for the time being. Maybe we'll add another one in here so you can see some of the functionality uh, of the, the gallery that it renders. So this is kind of a little marketing area. So I'm going to also create a default version. Uh, what this will do is there's a difference now between courses and their spaces and actual versions of a course. Um, so you know, different people can have different ways of teaching Part 100 in this instance. So this is how we account for that. Um, so this is what happens. Created this space here. And I'm going to have to refresh refresh the page because of image cache. And see, this is what I get. So I uploaded these two screenshots. These would pop up. We have a little light box thing going on. Uh, it also puts them in a little gallery, so they swipe in like that. So the more images I put here, the better idea I can give someone uh, of what this course is all about. Um, another decision between the versions and the course spaces is that this view all courses area is now publicly accessible. So you're also creating kind of a marketing presence, if you will, for this course. Uh, it's a common problem that we've had in the past is having sample versions of uh, syllabi and you know, course content when it lives in this new system. Um, so you'll see I also told it to create a default version of a course. So it gave me this, it marked it as part of development. Uh, it's not OER, it gave it you know, just a silly name so I know what it is. So I can jump into that and we'll see what a default space looks like in Elms. So it doesn't have a schedule because it doesn't make one, uh, but it does create 15 lessons and a home link. Uh, you don't need a home link, but this is just kind of what it creates by default. So see, so I can jump around between any of those lessons. We can go back to the home area, which should contain a schedule, obviously. Um, but let's go through and actually build out a version manually. That's just kind of to showcase what happens if you click that checkbox. So I'll go back to the version in question here. And we can do create a new version of this course. So first step, version name. So this could be something um, either like fall version, because maybe you make a different version per the semester. Uh, this could also be like Bill's version. So I'm going to call this uh, Bill's redesign of Part 100. See, we've cleaned up the form quite a bit from Alpha 3 as well as the interface in general. Uh, instructional templates, this is actually where we get into some developer APIs that exist now. Uh, so any developers out there that are interested in populating this area, there's a module called Elms Instructional uh, Templates, which has a uh, small API and Drupal hook so that you can actually have your own outlines be generated and show up here. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to do 10 lessons. Don't want commenting, no printing, and uh, footer is just that, what the default is. Step through to the next page. We get into the schedule. The schedule is the same as it used to be uh, in Alpha 3 in terms of its functionality, so you know, week-based or topic-based schedules. And we input some times, and that will go and create here. So I'm going to have it create this schedule because this will take a little bit to generate a full schedule, and then we'll pick back up at the course space 